what that was. Um, we got some Salvation Army Blu-rays. Um, uh, now I wanted to just check them out. It's been a while since I've been to a Salvation Army, and uh, I just wanted to see what they had. And they didn't have anything in the way of DVDs. It looked like all the same stuff from the last time I was there, which was like I think a month ago now. Um, and I was like, oh well. But they did have a whole stack of Blu-rays, which they did not have before. Some of these I've seen. Some of these I haven't. Some of these aren't. Most of these aren't great movies. But I bought them anyways. So, so let's start, I guess, with some of our... This one here. The Hurt Locker. Six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Now, did it win or was it just nominated? Doesn't really say, but never seen this movie. It's got Jeremy Renner, aka Hawkeye. It's got an audio commentary with the director and writer. So, I don't know. I was like, okay. And most of these cases are a little beat up. Like they're not, they're not in horrible condition, but they're a little beat up. Uh, but they were like a dollar, so it's just like whatever. Uh, this other one I haven't seen. I watched uh, Serendipity recently. And it says John Cusack. It also has Maya Rudolph. Go away. Or away we go. From the writer of David E. Green. I don't know. But I've never seen this movie. Um, I like the cover. It's a comedy apparently. But yeah. <laughs> Who... Is this a no? It's not. Oh, it's a Sam Mendes movie. Interesting. Oh, Sam Mendes, director in nineteen seventeen. I thought this might be a um, Judd Apatow film, but it's not. So. Just whatever. Um, this one I haven't seen either. It had um, Jason Statham. Uh, the Transpotter. They had Transpotter 2, but I didn't get that because it was kind of way too beat up for me. And I was just like, no. But, I don't know. A dollar. I'll watch it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. This is my drink. I'll get in a minute. Um... I have the A-Team Complete Series on DVD, and they had the A-Team Movie, which I've never seen this movie. Um, it's got unrated and theatrical cut. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've, I haven't heard great things about it, and I was watching the A-Team series. I watched through the whole series, and I thought, okay, well, I kind of want to see this movie because I did that, and uh, I looked up to find a copy of the Blu-ray, and apparently it was out of print. So I found this for a dollar, and that was all right. I'll check that out. Um, the next two I've seen, I don't love either of these movies. In fact, one of these movies, I really, 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 really dislike it. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Free Birds. Now, this was a movie that I saw when it came out. I was really excited for this movie. Because it's from the previews, it looked funny, and I was like, okay, a wacky concept, but it could be funny, right? So I, I, I we watched it in a the theater, uh, or I watched it in a the theater, and it's got Woody Harrelson, Owen Wilson, Amy Palmer, and I was like, okay, this is a, this is a funny, it looks like a funny movie, I sat down, and it was really, really boring, um, but it had some really good parts about this movie. And I know a lot of people hate it. I haven't seen it in years. So I was like, alright, for a dollar I'll get it on Blu-ray. Um, for nothing else to say, I own both real effects movies. Which, if you don't know, they're the company who made Book of Life. And so these are the only two films they made. So I was like, I can put this right next to that. But I'm probably going to rewatch this again in Thanksgiving. And we'll see. The next one is the movie, one of the movies I hate the most of all time, Man of Steel. Um, why did I get this if I hate it so much? Um, a little uh, service I have called uh, HBO Max is doing 
the Snyder Cut. And I'm going to watch it to do a video on it. That's the only reason I'm going to watch it. Just to do a video on it. And to do that, I need to make my thoughts on the other DCEU films that led up to it. The original theatrical cut of Justice League. And I need to do the... I need to talk about Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, and of course, I talked about Wonder Woman already, uh, but I also need to talk about Suicide Squad and all that stuff. So I need to talk about those movies so we can get there. And it's weird how I have to be talking about DC and Marvel at the show, same time, which just shows I'm a fan of both. But yeah, um, I hate this movie. Uh, this is one of my most hated films of all time because if you don't know, literally there's a giant Superman behind me. I'm a huge Superman fan, and if you and if um, and this movie butchers the character of Superman in just the worst ways possible, pisses me off every time I watch this movie. And I've only seen it twice. I saw it once in the theater. I watched it at home. Because some people were saying it was actually really good and I was too harsh on it. I was like, okay, I'll watch it again. And then no, I wasn't. I was fair. This film is sucks. It's so freaking terrible. I just hate watching this film. It always makes me angry. And a dollar was the most I was willing to pay for it. Unless this was 4K. I might have paid five. But that's about it. This film is so bad. I, I'm going to... I have to have this movie in my collection because I do want to own every single Superman movie. Yes, even Superman 4 and 3. Um, and this is just kind of like, I have to have this, but I just didn't want to pay more than a dollar. All these, and the disc was mint. I was just like, fine. They had two copies. So if one wasn't bad enough, they had two. And one wasn't mint. And the other was, so it's like, I'll get both. And I'll get one copy the mint copy, so it's just like, I was hoping both were like horribly scratched so I just never have to watch this movie again, but no, I'm not that lucky. I'm over exaggerating my hate for this movie a little bit, but I absolutely hate that movie so much, so much. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, I actually bought Batman vs. Superman recently on 4K, uh, while, like, a couple months ago, and so I do have to, so I do have that movie. I haven't watched it yet, because I've been saving it to do a video, and I always keep saying in my mind, I want to do Batman vs. Superman, but it's like, I forget that it's not the first movie in the series, because this movie was made in 2011. Batman vs. Superman came out in 2015, which is a ridiculous time jump, and then it was like, Suicide Squad came out the same year. No, it came out 2016, which is even worse. That's like five, six years almost. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, and then we, and then I also got to talk about um, you know, one, well, I did Wonder Woman. I guess I just have to talk about those. Luckily for me, I don't have to buy Suicide Squad because it's on uh, it's on. A DC Universe, HBO Max, and I can just do, watch it there, do a video on it, and I will be doing that pretty soon here, so.